Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me trying to do an extra poem. We got uh, a couple of Yeezy poems today, so we'd like to do something that I haven't done yet. Maybe it's easy, but at least I haven't done yet. All right, we're going to have a medium poem, uh, 650, two, key, key, two keys keyboard. So let's take a look. I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. I'm, I'm just kind of, I don't know, just chilling uh, here on Feb 29, the leap day. My leap day is doing one extra poem. Maybe, uh, no. But yeah. Uh, all right, there's only one character A on the screen of a notepad. You can perform one of the two operations. You could copy all, you could paste. Given it an N, return the minimum number of operations to get the character A exactly N times on the screen. Hmm. And this could be a thousand. I was going to say maybe this is dynamic programming, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, well, in this case, I guess it doesn't, it wouldn't be dynamic programming per se. It could be uh, breath first search. I think it'll probably be breath first search. Um... Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think this is one of those tricky ones. I, I but, <clears throat> but yeah, but basically, for example, you have A, and then you can do a. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I would just do a breath first search, right? Um, I mean, I. Eh. I want to say I think there's also a DP solution, especially since n is equal to a thousand. But um, I don't know. I don't know which one's a little bit cleaner, to be honest. I mean, I think they're conceptually the same. Right? It's just like the order of of doing it because you can think about breakfast search as like a, a bottoms up dynamic programming. So in that case, I guess it's 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 uh, it's fine, but. Yeah, I mean, I think there is some observations you can make if you really, really want to be careful or like if you really want to be slick about this one. I think there is some stuff like how many times do you want to pace in a row? Um, I don't know what the upper bound is, but for example, you wouldn't just like copy one A and then paste a million times in a row. That would make no sense. You eventually want to break up those pastes. So... Um, so yeah, so I, but I mean, I'm going to do a first search and then we'll see, right? So we start with uh, what I want to call my first day. It's going to be one zero. And this is a little bit thing where um, it's a tuple that uh, represents, um, let me add a note. So uh, number of characters on the screen. And then the second item is... Uh, the number of characters in the, what's it called? Copy bin or something? I forget what the copy and paste thing is called. In the copy buffer set, right? So then now we can go, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now we have Q is equal to collections dot deck, right? We just have a view. We want to pan start, oops. And for now I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm just going to write look up, right? I mean, we can actually bound this a little bit tighter, to be honest, but I'm just a little bit lazy. I just want to focus on the problems. I'm just going to write look up on, or like this is the, the best uh, or the shortest path from here, right? So this is what, uh, look up is such a lazy name. So <laughs> maybe uh, uh, distance, just go distance and fine, right? So, and then now a distance of start is equal to zero, right? Then now well, this is standard BFS stuff, right? So then now you have characters and maybe characters and buffer in Q.pop left. And then now you have two operations, right? You could add, you could set B is equal to C, right? Using the copy, use to copy or, so then now, um, then the tuple would look like um, CC, right? If CC not in distance, then distance of CC is going to be equal to, uh, I just say D is equal to di distance of CB, right? Uh, D plus one, 
right? And this is breadth search, so it's on. It's not in the distance. This should be, you know, the next thing. When you want to pen, cc, right? And then now uh, use the paste. Uh, and maybe we could add a little bit of a not lazy bound, right? So we have make sure that B is not is greater than zero because if it's zero, then I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't be infinite anyway because it would be in distance, but it's just, I guess it's fine. I don't know. And uh, C plus B is less than or equal to N, right? So, so that we don't want to go over. Um, and yeah, and uh, C plus, sorry, C plus B, B, not in distance, then yeah, then we enqueue this as well, and maybe I could have had a enqueue function, but eh, it's fine, right? Yeah, and then the first time we hit, if c is equal to n, then we return d, right? Yeah. Otherwise, we want to return negative one, maybe. I don't know. I don't think that negative one is possible, but yeah, uh, of course we. This is very easy to put in some input. So let's put in some big inputs, and just run it real quick, just to make sure that it doesn't time out. Uh, looks okay in terms of time. Twenty one forty six. Yeah. So let's give a submit, and that's pretty much it. I think there is a dynamic programming solution that's a little bit more clever, because um, I vaguely I don't. I mean, obviously I haven't done it. This problem here. I feel like I've seen something similar somewhere, but uh, that's so long ago. I mean, let's take a look at editorial then, actually. Uh, yeah, so you have to pick it up, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I... I mm. Oh, I see, so this becomes a prime factorization one. That's kind of cute. Um, mm, it's a little bit awkward, but cute. I suppose. But yeah, uh, my complexity is going to be n square um, because they're n square state, right? Because uh, both this can be up to a thousand and this can be up to a thousand. I think in theory, I don't know if all the states are passed. I guess it is possible you copy one and then just put a thousand and one and then a thousand and two. And, okay, fine. So it's going to be n square because that's the number of states. Each, um, each node will only do two operations, so it's fine. But yeah, the n is only a thousand, so we don't have to worry about that solution. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, O of n squared time and O of n squared space. Yeah, that's all I have. Let me know what you think. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.